What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and guys, the gears are in motion. Now, obviously, we are no strangers to Sly 5. I feel like I talk about it every day. And to be honest with you, I was almost waiting for a period in my life where this would be able to, uh, I would be able to do something like this. You know what I mean? So we've talked a lot about it. I know I've said in the past, in fact, I literally just said on Saturday's video that I've put a lot of stock specifically into one man, and that's probably a bad idea, and I understand that, but Shep Nick, and I never know if I'm saying that first name right, very highly you know, respected leaker. He's got a lot of things right. A lot of people just, again, generally respect the guy. He is the one that backed that 4chan leak, which originally I thought was fake. Seems like it was real, right? The 4chan leak is kind of what started all that Sly 5 is in development. Then it made its way onto Reddit, and then he backed it. He said, no, actually, this is real. Like, I've heard from many people. He said he's been told many times from many people that Sly 5, not a remaster, not a remake, but Sly 5 is in development. So there's your catch up up until, and not the condiment, up until I believe today or like last night. Okay. That was, you know, that's all you needed to know. Now, some, he went on like an answering spree, which is nice of him to do. And he actually has gone on the record to say he will never do it again. So that's also nice of him to do. He went on this answering spree on Twitter where people were just messaging him questions and he was answering them. He was giving his leaks away for free, which I guess he can't do that or, you know, whatever. But basically, somebody asked him, like, can you please, for the love of God, this is not verbatim, tell me something about Sly 5. Like, can we, like we deserve to know. I believe that was one of the main things the person said. And his answer was basically he would if he could. You know, if he had more information, he would share it with people. But one thing he can share is he's heard that it's in early development. Like, it's very, very early in development. And again, that is it. That's where we put the period uh, on the sentence that is slide five. So again, it's not much. I will, uh, you know, I'll say that. But look, again, as I've always said, actually, in these videos, I will take literally anything, something as small as that. And that's not even that small, by the way, because that gives us a lot of information. I would say it being an early development gives us clarification and also just, uh, I don't know, answers questions for a bunch of different things. Number one, you could say, well, Alex, you interviewed the voice of Sly Cooper. I did good, sir. And uh, he was very, you know, he couldn't answer me. I actually kind of do believe that's true, right? Because if it's very early in development, these guys haven't started recording anything. They're not at the voice recording part. So I want to believe he didn't lie directly to my face. That's just something I want to throw in there. But that answers, you know, one thing, right? Why can't actors and stuff, like, why aren't they saying anything or are they lying to us I mean I do think in a way they probably are lying like there's a small little you know speck of that but mostly I think they're just they're not, they haven't been hired yet to do the gig the second thing is the tease at the PlayStation showcase right we have that trailer in the beginning and and people have done a really nice breakdown of all of the different symbols and the teases of all these different games and Sly was there well why in God's name would you have Sly Cooper there well a lot of people have brought up a really good point and and I mean this isn't the really good point we all know this obviously next year i believe in september is sly's 20th anniversary okay it's the anniversary of sly well maybe it's not september don't quote me on that but it's it's in the fall of next year okay that's the 20th anniversary now you know of course i'd want a game out by then are we going to have that happen absolutely not that's a i will say you know him saying it's early in development you could say well that's not giving us too much it is giving us that though you know what i mean if anybody expects the game which again i don't think it's wrong to but if you did expect the game to come out next fall no longer happening you know what i mean that's that's not at this point when you have a game that's this early in development i would put it at two years at the minimum and and that's if they started it like a full year ago so i i would say we're looking at like late 2023 if not 2024 and again you can kind of see how playstation is playing this out right because you have spider-man probably fall of 2023 wolverine probably 2024 obviously there are so many other games that we have no idea of that could easily fill some of those slots as well you hit us with sly as well in in late 2023 or sometime in 2024 i mean you have some pretty cool and different you know what i mean it's not all marvel it's not like a god of war like super serious like last of or something like that like you can have uh different things but that's something it answers as well and it also answers why you would have that tease at, at the playstation showcase right number one get 
it in people's minds, right? This is happening. It's going to happen. We want it to start to invade and, and, and invade your mind and, and just kind of get you all on the same page. And I think 100% you could expect this to be an, like you could expect it to be announced next year. Let me finish my own sentence because I cut myself off so much. I think that's absolutely going to happen. You know what I mean? I, I could, I don't know if it would happen like the day of the anniversary, but I could easily see if they do a fall kind of showcase or like a big event next fall, you would tease, you know, you would show the logo or something for the next game in the Sly Cooper franchise. We'd probably, and, and I guess final, a, a couple things that I guess I kind of read in from it, which he's not really saying. This is literally just things kind of uh, coming on the top of my head. Like, I think you would start to hear about it more and more, like as these months go on, because there's still some big questions. Who's making it? That's the actually that is the biggest question, right? Is who is making the game, and uh, that I feel like would have to be answered re not relatively soon. Like it was actually, uh, I feel like I still want to say that, but by relatively soon, I really mean the next like six to eight months. I feel like we'd hear who's making it, whether it's Sucker Punch, and that's like a second game they're working on along with Ghost of Tsushima. But yet again, there's rumors that Infamous is back, like fully back. So like, would they be doing it? So like, it's actually very very difficult uh, to to figure out, right? It could just be honest a random studio or a studio we've never heard of or a studio Sony's worked out a deal of or a studio Sony's open specifically to do it. I mean, there's a lot of different options that could be very well uh, you know, kept under the table right now. But bottom line is, as I've said, I put a lot of stock in this guy and that's probably a bad idea generally. But what I will say, and, I, and, I, and, and I've said this before, I hate saying the words, trust me. You know what I mean? Because I think in the gaming industry, there's a lot of scumbags. There's a lot of horrible people, even people that are leakers and stuff. I don't generally get along with almost any of them because I don't really think they're good people. Shep Nick, by the way, he does not, he's not included in this. I've never actually had an encounter with the guy, but a lot of people are not good people. So basically what I'm saying, when I say trust me, I don't say it often because when I do say it, I want it to mean something. I would say I fully believe this is happening. I fully believe Sly 5 is coming. And he just keeps going. And, like, again, think about it on the other side, right? Respectable, like, notable leaker. This is a guy a lot of people look to. He's doubling down. Not only does he say Sly 5 is happening, but now he's saying it's an early development. Like, he's going all in. You know what I mean? If the game it doesn't happen or he's lying about it, coming back from this is, like, no, number one, it's impossible because people do not forget this kind of stuff. And number two, that would massively, I would say, hurt his reputation. And when you're a leaker, like, your reputation is kind of everything. You know what I mean? If you have a track record of being spotty, that will always be, you know what I mean? That'll always be your track record. You either need to be known to be, like, right, like, nine out of ten times or every single time to have that most, like, respected level. Or, you know, if you don't have that, then you're somewhere in between and you really don't have respect of people and I think that that's actually what kind of matters to these people uh, quite a bit so you know I would say look at it from the other side right if he's lying about it he's kind of screwed like in his not in a, like he's not going to get fired or he'll still have a job and all that stuff but I just don't think people will respect him nearly as much as they do now so just I guess to keep that in mind so let me know what you guys think in the comments below as always make sure if you haven't already you guys are subscribed you guys have always done such a great job in supporting these videos and I thank you a ton for all of that but make sure you guys are subscribed bell icon turned on if you guys want to follow me or support me in any of our other places we have twitter we have a second youtube channel and we also have patreon and youtube memberships the links for all of them are in the description below thank you for watching i really do appreciate it i hope to see you all on the next video